Okay, lovely people, welcome back to another video. So the short film coffee surprise you saw at the beginning of this video was entirely shot on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And this time I wanted to do something fun, creative and challenging to show you what can be achieved with a phone and that anybody can do it with the right tools and techniques. And if you're just getting started, I believe the best way to practice your mobile filmmaking skills is by filming yourself. Although it can be time consuming, the progress you'll achieve is totally worth it. You'll notice improvements quickly and with time, it'll become easier and second nature. And there are tons of awesome creators out there who pretty much do it all themselves and even use their phone to create top notch videos. And guess what? You can do it too. So. In this video, I will share my experience of making this fun short film with my iPhone and give you five tips that will help make your videos look cinematic. So with that said, let's jump right into it. So my first tip is to have the proper gear. Depending on the type of video you're making, it's a great idea to invest in some essential gear. It will definitely make your life easier and help you capture the shots you have in mind. And many of the shots I've taken would have been tricky without the right gear. And the great news is that mobile filmmaking gear is cheaper than traditional cameras. Plus, it's super convenient to carry around and set up. So let's talk about the gear I use to make the video happen. Oh, and by the way, you can find links to all the gear mentioned in the video description below. Now, in many of my shots, I relied on a tripod. It's great for keeping your shots steady and allows you to play with different angles. Plus, tripods aren't just for static shots. You can also use the tripod to add camera movement like this cool tilt transition shot I did, or even this shot of myself where I filmed myself getting out of bed. And what I did is I used the belt to sort of secure the tripod on my waist. Next up is lighting. The one I used throughout my short film is the Molus X100, by Zion. Having that extra light can step up your video quality. Natural light is great, but on cloudy days or even when shooting indoors at home, extra light can make a big difference. And it's not about brightening just the scene, but you can also set the mood. For instance, I created this scene where I woke up in bed with the sun shining through a cardboard window, setting the morning scene even though this was shot in the afternoon. I also use this haze machine, which I usually bring on parties. However, using it for this short film, it added some nice atmosphere to my shot. And I additionally also used a five in one reflector to bounce light and soften any harsh shadows. Now the cage I used is from a small rig. I actually have also a video about it. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite cage so far. Uh, it comes with a grip, giving me better control when setting up my shot. And it also allows me to add accessories such as a VND filter to control my exposure and maintain a natural motion blur throughout my shots. And on top of that, to make my videos feel more cinematic, I added a mist filter to soften the image and eliminate the over sharpening that phones typically produce. Plus when shooting against bright light sources like a window, it helps soften the highlights, giving it a gentle glow for a dreamy effect. Now, one essential tool that helped me frame myself and speed up the filming process is the flip mirror. And this way you don't have to invest in an external monitor and can see yourself while recording. Now, unfortunately, the Blackmagic camera app doesn't support monitoring on the Apple Watch. So I found this the best alternative. And last, what I also used is a clamp, but I'll get into that later on how I use it to get creative shots. Next up, tip number two is to use a professional video app. While the default camera app is great for run and gun shooting, and I do use it quite often, if you want more control over your camera, a professional video app like the free Blackmagic camera app is the way to go. This app lets you adjust settings like ISO, shutter speed, white balance, and manual focus, giving you more flexibility and control over your footage. Additionally, the Blackmagic camera app offers advanced features such as focus peaking, zebra stripes, and false colors that help ensure your shots are always in focus and properly exposed. Another benefit of using a professional video app is the ability to shoot in different aspect ratios, including the four by three aspect ratio, which I went for. Now I shot everything in 4K 25 frames per second using ProRes 422 Apple Log. And the reason for that is it gives me great flexibility for color grading and ensures really top-notch quality 
in my footage. Tip number three is finding the right music. Now music plays a crucial role in setting the mood and enhancing the overall feel of your video. And personally, I've been getting all my tracks from Artlist. I've been using them for years. And this video isn't sponsored by them. I just genuinely believe they have great tracks. Now, if you sign up through the link in the video description below, you can get two months additionally for free if you're interested. Now for my short film, I wanted a blues and rocky vibe. So I explored these genres and found some great tracks that would fit my vision. Depending on the type of video, sometimes it would even take me hours to find the right music because that really sets the tone for your video. And I personally like to search for the song beforehand. For me, it just makes the editing process easier. And I usually download a couple of songs that are similar. And I found that song, It Blows My Mind by Asaf Elon was the perfect fit. Now, another important element to include in your video is sound effects because by having sound effects, it will allow the viewer to really immerse themselves in the video. And the good thing is you can actually use a lot of the sound effects that you've recorded internally on your iPhone. I use the Blackmagic camera app. Inside the Blackmagic camera app, I've set the setting to stereo. This way it will use all three microphones to capture the ambient noise. Now, some of the sounds weren't captured clearly. So in some scenarios, I downloaded the sound effects from Artlist, such as the toothbrush scene. <laughs> or also transitional scenes where I added a whoosh sound effect to really sell the transition. So as you can see, choosing the right music and adding sound effects to your video can really add more depth and enhance the viewing experience for your audience. Tip number four is to look for interesting angles. This part of the filmmaking process is where the challenge meets the fun. My apartment gets boring with each passing day and that's why this exercise is awesome. It helps push your creative limits and think beyond the usual. For example, I took a shot from below by filming through a piece of plexiglass I had removed from a picture frame hanging on my wall. Now, honestly, at first I wondered if I really wanted to go through the effort of taking it out of the frame and setting it all up. But in the end, it was totally worth it. I was actually glad to include this shot in my video as it stood out. And here's another cool shot I tried, one of my favorite ones where you see me brushing my teeth. And for that, I used a magic arm with a clamp. And this allowed me to secure the toothbrush on the clamp to stay centered in the frame no matter where I move the camera. And this gives it an interesting angle rather than just a simple shot of me brushing my teeth. It really lets you experience what it's like to be a toothbrush. Uh, I don't think that was right. Anyway, you get the point. Another favorite shot of mine is this one of the cartwheel moving through the supermarket. I used a clamp to get that low angled shot, which came out looking really cool. So the lesson of this story is to always look for interesting angles that can make your videos stand out from the rest. Don't be hesitant to experiment even if it doesn't always go as planned, but when it does, you'll be happy you added that creative touch to your video, helping to develop your creative eye along the way. And tip number five is having a story in mind. This is an important step that occurs before you begin filming. You don't want to start shooting without a plan. Stories resonate with us and your video should tell one. So before you hit that record button, consider the message you want to convey to your audience. And in the short film, Coffee Surprise, the story is about someone making coffee at home. Well, that someone is me actually. And I take a sip only to discover that I accidentally used salt instead of sugar. And because a lot of us love coffee and some of us make even coffee at home, it's a simple yet relatable story that engages the audience and makes them laugh. It follows a simple beginning, middle and end structure with a surprise twist at the end. And if you're unsure what to film and want to practice filming yourself, think about something you do every day. For example, going to the toilet. No, just joking. <laughs> For example, you could film yourself taking a morning walk or making lunch. Choosing an activity you're already familiar with will simplify the filming process. And by including any small problem, challenges, struggles, and changes in your story, your video will become more engaging to viewers. Now, I've been in this game for long and filming with an iPhone really doesn't have to be difficult. With the right techniques and a creative approach, you can produce high quality videos that tell a compelling story. 
And that's why I created an online course for those who want to learn everything about filming quality videos on their phone. And in that program, I will walk you through each step, teaching you everything I know so that you don't have to figure it out on your own. So if you want to transform your videos into masterpieces, check out smartphonefilmmaking.com. The link will be in the video description below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.